Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Spanish Mathematical Olympiad, final round 981, problem number 8. We wish to prove that if a is an odd number, then a to the fourth power plus 4 times a cubed plus 11 a, a squared plus 6 times a plus 2 is a sum of 3 squares and that this number is divisible by 4. So my hints for this problem, first of all, uh, combine this part, a to the fourth power plus four times a to the third power, into some kind of formula with squares. You can, you may need to write something in addition to these two terms to combine it in a square of something. Also. A look, a glance at the Pascal's triangle may be helpful. It's somewhat connected to the binomial theorem. And finally, when you have uh, simplified or, or dealt with uh, the first part of the problem, by showing divisibility by 4, just use modular arithmetic. So consider this number modulo 4. So give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I hope that you've managed to solve this problem. My solution will be as follows. Let's take our number. And let's write it in the following way. I will have a to the fourth power times four times a to the third power. And now I will split 11 into 6a squared and plus 5a squared. I will split 6 times a into 4a and 2a and I will split 2 into 1 plus 1. Why? Well, uh, this part happens to be just just what? Just a plus 1 to the 4th power. How do I know that? Well, it's by the binomial theorem. You can write Pascal's triangle. And you see, or maybe you don't know it, so I will inform you. <laughs> well, if you write Pascal's triangle, these numbers in in the next rows appear in the expansion of a plus b to the nth power. So for example, if you expand a plus b to the fourth power, it's just a for a to the fourth power plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4a b cubed plus b to the fourth power. It works for every n. Works like magic, I'd say. Okay, so now we know something. So we have now produced one square, or fourth power, but fourth power is a square of a square. So now we have a plus 1 to the fourth power. What to do with this part? Well, if you look closely, 2a plus 1 is very telling. Namely, we will split 5a squared into 4a squared plus a squared plus 2a plus 1. What happens now? Well, 4a squared is 2a quantity squared, and this last part is just a plus 1 squared. And maybe write it in this form. It's a plus 1 squared plus 2a squared plus the last number. It's a plus 1 squared squared. And now we see that we have in fact produced three squares. Three squares. It didn't matter that uh, a was odd. It was also for even a. Okay, so now we know something. It's, it's good. And now let's consider divisibility by four. And uh, let's see. Since I will use modular arithmetic. Since a is odd, 
a must be either congruent to plus 1 or minus 1 modulo 4. It can be congruent to 0 because it would mean that our number is divisible by 4. It can be congruent to 2 because it would mean that our number is even. So a is either congruent to 1 or minus 1. So let's consider these two cases. If a is congruent to 1 modulo 4, then, then what happens? So we can take our sum of squares, why not? Why not use it? And we see the following. We see the following. Since a is congruent to 1, we have 2 squared plus uh, 2 squared plus 2 to the 4th power. This is 4. 4 is congruent to 0. This is also congruent to 0. And this is uh, 16. It's also congruent to 0. Okay. Nice. And let's consider second case. If a is congruent to minus 1 modulo 4, then, then what happens? Well, nothing special. Uh, we have the following. Uh, here we have these numbers congruent to 0 squared, these numbers congruent to minus 2 squared, and these numbers congruent to 0 to the 4th power, and it's also congruent to 0 modulo 4, which means, which exactly means that 4 divides a plus 1 squared plus 2a squared plus a plus 1 squared squared. And that closes our proof. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the future. Goodbye.